Well, I work in immunology, clinical immunology, but with an interest in understanding the pathogenesis of disease as well as treating disease. So we have a department of clinical immunology here at the hospital where we investigate, manage, treat patients with spectrum of immune mediated diseases, things like autoimmune diseases, lupus, as well as immune deficiency diseases and allergies. But I also have a laboratory which investigates the pathogenesis of some of those disorders as well. I trained as a medico and having worked as a resident for a couple of years then decided what specialty of internal medicine I was going to concentrate on and made a decision to work in immunology at that time because I suppose a couple of reasons. One was um, I was intrinsically interested in the subject. The second it was clearly an area that was dynamic and in fact it still is. There's still a lot going on, a lot to be learnt, uh, a lot of things to be understood whereas as you can imagine some other areas of internal medicine most of uh, a lot of the key problems have already been solved. So that was a second reason. The third reason was I was fortunate to um, have some one or two mentors in the discipline uh, who were inspiring and who uh, also led me into the field. It's exciting for me um, being here in Canberra working with colleagues um, here at the hospital and at the John Curtin School because I think we have a very nice setup now, a critical mass of researchers, the infrastructure, access to both models and, and uh, material from patients who suffer with these diseases to really crack on and, and um, make some significant progress in understanding some of these diseases. I see medical science as being integral to the practice of medicine and I think that it, it's that way because we still have so much to learn about disease. You know, there's no doubt that people are much better off now than they were a hundred years ago or longer ago in terms of prognosis from a whole range of diseases but on the other hand we've still got a long way to go and you know we're really only going to make more progress, reduce overall suffering and mortality by a better understanding of disease.